All right, so uh, I'm Callum. So I just kind of wanted to chat a bit about the apprenticeships for uh, BAE. So I work on the uh, submarine sector. Uh, it's based in a uh, barrow and furnace. So uh, I'm actually a, I'm a hull designer. So anything that you see on the submarine that's not a pipe or a wire, it'll come through my team at some point. So that's kind of what I do. Um, so how I came into the uh, apprenticeship scheme. So you can go through, you can derail levels, be like an undergraduate scheme. Uh, go through uni, go into the engineering schemes. But what I did was, uh, it was like uh, 16 to 18 apprenticeships. So I needed uh, five GCSEs, uh, A to C, I think it was. Um, did an aptitude test, went through uh, a couple of other processes. And then uh, BA actually sort of took me under their wing, really, um, and got me all the qualifications I needed to do my job. So it started off in the first year, you're just at college, so you're doing co like night schools. Uh, you get your HNC, you've got your MVQs and all that stuff. Uh, so there's an MVQ plus scheme now. So basically you have an MVQ that's uh, based around like nuclear, uh, like nuclear qualifications, but it doesn't really relate to your submarines. That's where the MVQ plus comes in. So it makes you, well, you're more specialized basically. So, but the, all these skills are transferable to other areas if you wanted. So uh, that was my first year. This, so. It's, it's a three three and a half year apprenticeship scheme. Um, yeah, three and a half year apprenticeship scheme. Uh, after the first year, you're, you're actually working basically. You're earning and learning. So it's uh, so you're working your normal sort of nine to five job, uh, half day Fridays, and then uh, night schools. Uh, for me, it was Monday night and uh, Thursday night. So that's how you got your qualifications basically. So. Uh, a bit about what I do, so I work on a seating team at the moment, so mostly when I say seating team, it's just like a seat like that kind of thing, but what, what an actual seat is, so you've got a bit of equipment, so on a submarine, everything's got to be nice and quiet, hasn't it, so it's a bit different to a ship, so any rattles and bangs, if anything is vibrating, which a lot of the equipment does, uh, it'll go through the floor and shake everything, makes it like dead noisy, so the, think of it like springs, essentially, so you've got like a big box, like some kind of equipment or something, and it just sits on springs to sort of wobble about and stop the vibration. That's kind of what I do, but you've also do uh, other things, like I do quite a lot of things with the structure. Um, actually farming it. So the reason uh, I'm here is because we've got a mechanical CAD uh, competition. Uh, it uses a program called SolidWorks, which we use quite heavily within BAE systems. So it's just, it was just kind of showcasing the skills that we have, really, um, as an engineering firm. Uh, as the lady was saying before, it's uh, one of the largest uh, engineering firms within the uh, UK sector. Uh, the apprenticeship schemes are, well, renowned for being the best. Yeah, I just wondered how many applicants are, uh, are there and how many places are there? Um, well, in 2014, there was 272 places in just the barrel site itself. And there was about 1,400 applicants, I think. So it's quite a sought after apprenticeship scheme. But um, yeah, I mean, people come from all over the place. Like I said, I work in Barrow, but I actually live in Kendall. There's a lad that I work with that uh, lives in, well, lived in Blackpool. So everyone's from all over the place. In fact, the guy that we've got on the uh, CAD competition, he's from uh, Derbyshire. So all over the place, really. Okay. Great. Any, any questions for Callum? Yeah, sure. Um, hi, you've just talked about the um, apprenticeships that you can do straight from school. Are there any, for people who have A-levels, are there any yeah, degree yeah, there's, apprenticeships? Um, so if you've got like a degree or you've got, already got your A-levels, there's, like, there's an advanced apprenticeship scheme. So basically, it's the first year uh, of the apprenticeship is, is kind of skipped if you've already got your A-levels because you've already got the equivalent uh, of qualifications. That's kind of what we cover in the first year. Um, Obviously, if you've got a degree, you can go into the, uh, like the engineering route. Um, so again, with the apprenticeship scheme, so it's a three and a half year scheme, and then you can, do, you can lead on to doing your degree if you wanted. But uh, if you've already got your degree, you can kind of skip all that, really. So. But uh, for the uh, graduate scheme, you've got two years where you're being integrated with, into the business. So you've still got like targets, like certain criteria to meet. So you're like monitored through the whole lot, really. OK, thank you. And I think we had um, a question over here. Someone put their hand up, yeah? So what sort of apprenticeships do you do? 
Uh, well, a bit of everything, really. I mean, you can do, uh, you can be a welder. I mean, I'm a designer. There's planning. Uh, there's lots of different types of planning, really. Um, there's a uh, sheet metal worker, uh, pipe fitter, uh, just QC, you know, just like quality control, um, testing. It's absolutely anything, really. Okay, just another question here. What if someone with special educational needs wants to come and work in engineering? Um, hey, well, you probably could do, yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, um, I guess I guess it would depend on um, how they apply and, and and how would someone apply for that? Is it is it all on the website? Yeah, as it's well? all online yeah. now. There's a, a short application process to go through. It's normally between October to January time. It's when people apply. From October to January. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. There'll Any more information on their website? So just type in BAE and then whichever sector you want. So like submarines in my case, but you've got land platforms. Uh, so you've got all the tanks that you see. Um, obviously the boats. It's, yeah. it's everything. So the typhoons, that's Preston, Preston and Salisbury site. So. so so they're based all around the UK? There's it's everywhere, yeah. Everywhere there, there are locations yeah. where they take on apprentices at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Any, any more questions for Callum? I'll just, I'll just come round to you. Um, hi. You mentioned um, people coming from all around the country. So there's like a college or accommodation provided or um well in my instance because it was only an hour's way i actually drove every day but um ba won't ba doesn't actually supply the accommodation for you so it's it's up to you to sort that out but the like the lad from blackpool he actually uh, rented a place out uh, very near the workplace so okay okay any more questions for callum yeah just around the back here Hi, uh, just wondering what the different pay scales are for the different levels of apprenticeship schemes. Um, well, it's quite a competitive uh, rate to begin with. So obviously you've got uh, 16 to 18s is uh, on a slightly lower band. But um, BAE, at the start, they've always said that they'd match the minimum wage, which is a lot more than most apprenticeship schemes. But it's, so your first 12 months is on this, like the minimum wage to start off with. And then every six months after that, it progresses up to eventually your final salary. So 